So let's get into talking about your business website. So this is going to be your best foot forward, basically. Uh, I remember doing my first business website for DP Web Design. Uh, it was pretty bad. I thought it was wonderful. I thought it was the best thing I've ever done. Um, but looking back on it, uh, it's pretty. It, it was pretty horrendous. But then the technology was different at that time anyway. So I worked all from Dreamweaver, um, making HTML pages, and yeah, look, it, it was pretty. It was pretty bad. I put in as much uh, animation and tricks, trickery that I could. And this is what you do to show off your talents. But it's not what the client's looking for. So keep that in mind. Whenever you're doing a website or your own business website, don't put all the tricks in that you can possibly do. Um, because then you're going to end up with a website that's just so overblown um, and it looks more like a it looks more like a template demo than an actual business website. And if you're getting, um, if you happen to build from templates uh, as well, so if you're doing WordPress um, or Joomla and you, you're getting a WordPress or Joomla template, don't fit your information into a template. Don't adjust your information to go into that template. Make sure that you think about what your client is going to want from your website, okay? Now, your business website and what they need to know. I always work towards that the people who are employing me don't know um, a lot about website design, construction, search engine optimization, everything like that. They don't know anything about it and that's essentially why they're coming to me. Uh, if they do know something about it, then that's fantastic. That helps me out a lot because then I don't have to um, simplify everything I'm talking about to, um, to try to get them to understand. And generally, if people don't understand what the process is, it gets very confusing for them and they get a little angry and well, not angry is not the right word to use, but they get, um, so they get a little frustrated. That's the word I'm looking for. So they get a little frustrated because they don't, don't know the process or what happens. Anyway, I'm going off track. So basically when that client comes to your business website, he wants to know just a couple of things. The main thing is how much does it cost? So that's a big thing. Now that's going to be up to you whether you want to put pricing on your website up front or whether you want to talk to the potential client and so see if you can um, you know, win them over because it sort of is a win over because they don't understand what goes into a website build and you're going to have to justify the $2,000 to $10,000 that you're going to hit them up for um, for the de development of their website. They have to understand that what you are doing is something that you've learnt for many years doing hundreds and hundreds of sites. Well, in, in my case, that's the first thing that they generally look at and that is price. Uh, after that, um, they will want to have a look at your portfolio. They want to see um, what you've done in the past and is it, any, is it similar to um, what they want. So that's another thing that's very important as well. So pricing, portfolio, um, and then of course, simplified websites. That's the biggest thing that I always get. And that is use the KISS approach, keep it simple, stupid. Okay, so make sure that your website isn't overly complicated. And I still, the website that I'm working from at the moment, my main business website, it is overcomplicated. Okay, and I do realize that now, but I last time I redid that website was probably about four years ago. So, um, and which is really horrible because it's it's my primary income uh, for, for, for me. So uh, you would think that I would be a little bit better with with keeping that up to date and making it the way I want to. The problem is that I've been going for a long time, so I have a lot of work on. And unfortunately, the last thing I get to work on is my website. But I do have some ideas in the pipeline of how I want to present it better. And um, hopefully, a uh, few, few late nights, and I'll be able to get there and, and change that site. But look, so make sure when you're making your business website, you have your pricing, your portfolio, pricing is optional, it's up to you. Your portfolio of the work that you've done. Now, I've got another video about portfolios and how you should go about presenting them. Um, and so have a look at that video. Uh, and also, um, explain yourself 
simply and clearly on your website. So uh, the trap that I fell into with uh, some of my previous sites is explaining too much to the client um, because they probably won't read it anyway. Uh, and really, you're really looking for just dot points um, and concise with what you're going to give them. Now, not every client is the same. So this is the trick, the, or the, this is where I fall down, is because I always like to describe things down from um, list point to list point to list point. I, I like to sort of go through everything when I, when I describe what I can do or what I do for them. Um, but when presenting this on a website, it's just too overloading. It's just, you know, um, well, I'm going to build a website in a, a Joomla content management system. I'm going to use this framework. This framework's easy to edit. All you have to do is log in from the front, do this, blah, blah, blah. A and even though you know all that and you want to get it to them, just ease back on it and don't explain everything to them. I find now that it works best when a client asks me the question, that's when I give them the answer, the complicated answer of what they want. But don't put too much information forward because it just confuses them um, because they're not designers and they don't understand the process. Um, but do make a simple outline of the process. So 12 steps to making a website, things like that. Just um, and shoot, have that ready to go. So if you get phone calls, um, and have your questions and, and you can do that or or even on your website make sure that you make the process laid out nice and simply um, use infographics that's always a great way to explain things is to have lovely icons and and comical pictures or not even comical but um, you know some nice tasteful infographics describing the process and things like that so anyway so yes so make your business website um, uh, simplified clean and um, and break it up, break that home page up into um, what your client is going to be. So if I have a client that hasn't had a website before, okay, so I, I have that part that says, looking for a new website, need this, click, 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 go here. Okay, if it's somebody else saying looking for support packages because they're an established client or, or maybe they're looking for somebody, somebody to maintain their existing Joomla or WordPress site, um, then you know support packages go here. So I've set my site up um, to sort of the homepage to direct all those key points and lead them to where, where they wanna go, get the information they need um, while always explaining that um, the easiest way is just to call me. Call me and explain everything. I'm a lazy typer. I hate typing things in emails and things like that. So I always encourage my clients to call and um, verbally um, explain what they want. Have a little spiel set out uh, for when they call. Uh, so, you know, just um, dot points, list points, um, explaining, um, you know, the common things. So naturally, here's some common questions. You always get the same thing. Uh, people will, will ring up. I like to sort of let them talk for a little bit. Um, sometimes when they, you, you feel they're stumbling around their words, it's like, oh, I need, um, I think I want a website for my, you know, so you, if they start to stumble around, then that's where you sort of, you start um, hitting them with the questions. It's like, okay, well, what business do you have? Um, then they'll describe the business and, and, um, and then you say, well, what do you need from your website? You know, do you want it to, it does it have to push a lot of information? Do you have to... Um, do you want it to be found? Do you want to purely just use it as a search engine tool so that when somebody types in your business name and the location that your site comes up within the first page with your competition? Um, do you know, do you want to uh, sell things online? So you start to sort of hit them with these common questions. So have those common questions ready to go and that'll help you a lot because um, it's always about sounding confident when you're talking with someone. Um, and Look, I generally sound confident when I'm talking with someone if my brain is switched on properly. Sometimes, some days, it just doesn't get out of first gear. So some conversations I have with potential clients are just a, you know, just a big mess uh, because my brain's not focused on, on talking about things uh, to do with their site. So some days you'll just, you'll just nail it. Um, your clients, the potential clients will ring up asking the questions, you'll hit everything because you know, straight straight down the line. Um, 
it's and it works really well and you sound confident with what you're talking about uh, and that confidence really does turn into a sale uh, it's just it's simple confidence is king and if you know your if you know your trade you know your craft you know what you're doing um, and um, you answer pretty much you know what they're looking for then you get the job it's it's as simple as that try not to fake it too much um, I have BS'd my way through um, when I first started off and by doing that I've taken on jobs that were way out of my league and um, the only thing that ever happens by taking on a job out of your league is um, is just a mess your clients don't appreciate or like anything that you do uh, pretty much the whole thing will fall through um, I have in the past um, had some clients where you know I thought I could manage your job but it just got out of hand it was just way beyond the capabilities of what I could do they were looking for more advanced programming and everything if you don't think you can handle a job simply don't do it and the reason for this is that you will waste your time trying to do something you don't know how to do sit around wait for something to come around that you do know how to do it's as simple as that you'll get the best um, you'll get the best value out of your time and you'll get more return on the time that you put into that project or that website um, taking on things that you can't do basically you're always catching up because you're always learning um, you know you're learning how to do this you're learning how to integrate um, something for the client you're, you're learning something and that learning is you know it's a wonderful ratio so you, you'll be putting four hours in for, with one hour's work so you're just not going to make your money so other things to make sure is don't use too much industry terminology um, don't try and uh, complicate the process by um, you know referring to uh, your CSS and JavaScript and PHP and databases and MySQL databases and things like that and and um, and using the Joomla CMS and and all this sort of stuff and you don't, don't over complicate it because um, the only reason why you would want to do that is to prove that you know something because those potential clients don't understand that and it does just confuse them more sometimes I will use those terminologies um, you know if I go read on a little bit because there is some potential clients that do have a good understanding of this but they just need that extra level of help and support um, with a, another area or they may be building their own site so you can start to use some industry terms but it's all got to do with the market that you're pushing yourself towards so if you want to push yourself towards um, people that are in the industry then by all means use the industry terms but if you're pushing yourself onto just potential small businesses that need a website um, then make sure you simplify and you don't to use too much technical jargon that um, is really just um, puffing your chest up but um, making no sense to them so look, that's all I can think of at the moment. So if you have any questions, leave some comments and uh, I'll try my best to get back to you and um, help explain further what I've been talking about.